Welcome to the Let's Play Discuss, Fazanadu. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and the Wee Guy. Let's Fazanadu it! Yeah! Woo! Ooh, I got the title of Aladdin. Oh, wait. Paladin. What the heck is that? Paladin? Paladin? What's a oh, Paladin? Pa uh, what is. Mm. <laughs> well, well, anyway. I got it. Alright, so now I'm going to go somewhere. Are we going to beat the game yet? Well, yeah, this is Let's Play Discuss. <laughs> you let's are play. the ultimate warrior everyone is talking about. Oh, warrior. there's a game. I never Star. knew there was a game called Discuss. Yeah. Let's play Discuss. Discuss with Fantasy. Yeah. Like, what does the n name mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I just transformed to someone else's house. Oh wow, you were inside a woman. <laughs> you were inside her. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the new golds bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty big woman though. It's hard not to get inside her. That is true though. So it worked. Baby got back. All right, now let's get some tools. Hello, I will sell you tools. Why, why do you need to buy any oh, tool? Aren't you one already? I get the tilt, the tilty, which get is it? sort of sonic boom. Get, get, get it, Ronnie? Oh. I said, why do you need to buy any tools? Aren't you one already? <laughs> like a power tool or a wrench? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I don't, but anyway. Buy the power blade. Oh wait, that's a different game. No, I got the tilty. I think it's to teal. Yeah, I only got $142. Oh, dude, I could buy myself Two months of Taco Bell. Yeah. That. <laughs> Not endorsing Taco Bell. Bite yourself two months on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the joke. I never really had bad bathrooms. Especially with the uh, you know breakfast, yeah. which we don't have here in Canada yet. Urgh. I've yet to try. I should try. I want to try that you know taco. I don't know hash brown thingy. Well, it I looks think you good, can make it, but <laughs> we can don't make have it here in Canada yet. Just make it oh, yourself. what happened? You teleported again. Yeah, this is the part of the section right here I forgot to go to. So let me beat this. Let me beat this um, pizza monster. Yeah. It's like an HR Geiger looking thing. Rest in peace. Now Great, I now I just dated this episode. For a while. <laughs> yeah, I just dated this episode now. <laughs> now I got the battle helmet. Now my life it's is complete. It's a 1980s game. We get to date ourselves. <laughs> now, now my yeah. life is complete. I am fully armored. Yeah, you can... Yeah, whatever. I don't yeah, care about the like game. Yeah, looks like the guy from Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts and Goblins. Now oh, yeah, I said armor. that in part 7, I think. Yeah. But, but now he really does, like, like fully yeah. armed, fully powered up. Yeah. What about fully legged? WWF fully loaded? Fully loaded! <laughs> right, oh, God! Another promotion! What's it gonna Two be? Douchebag. Lord! Oh. Lord Douchebag. Lords of Thunder! Lord Steven Regal. Wow. Lord oh, look. Rank. That's the top rank. I can't get no more experience. Uh, I can't get more experience points, but that's the top rank. Yes. But it should be rank ECW, but that's all right. <laughs> be hey, you worked again. Yep. And now oh. I had to go back here the whole time. I didn't know about that until I looked on YouTube. And <laughs> so I need to talk to the guru that they've been telling me about. As opposed to the evil two. By hiding in his own body. How are you gonna do that? Eat a sword? Yeah, dude. Two swords went inside of him. That's <laughs> like the sword eaters. <laughs> I've seen that in some, you know, illegal flits and all that, but still, I, <laughs> I wouldn't use a sword like that. I thought that was a circus. So now I get the demon's ring, so I can go through that door, and now we are in the final part of the game. Is that like a marriage proposal? The demon ring? <laughs> No. Hey, Man, honey, I... here's a demon ring. <laughs> but listen to this track. It's like a reverse edition of the uh, the track before you get ready to fight a boss. Yeah, wait, no, pause the video. Go to the 8-bit stereo. Go to this track. Okay, 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, shut sure. We got to plug your 8-bit <laughs> stereo of Fazandu in all parts of 
this. You didn't game. have to, <laughs> but thank you. I know. Watch my new Batman review. Yeah, bro, There's nothing to do with this. <laughs> Alright, so now this is a, ah, I think this is kind of a maze right here, or, um, ah, dang it, <laughs> see? Good job. <laughs> Goofing it. Alright, so look how eerie and gray this, uh, this part of the game looks. It reminds me of Simon's Quest in the, uh, Dracula's Castle, except in here there's actually enemies to watch out for. More green to me. Well, it's yeah. always, it's always green there on the other side of the castle. Yeah. Oh no. Like Kermit say it's always cool to be green. But these things aren't cool. Whoa. Ah. Hey, they, oh hey, yeah, hey. I remember these guys from like part 7 or 6 or something. Yeah, part yeah, 7. Well, yeah, we commented on them for like a minute because Ronnie was, wasn't doing too well. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to beat this game without ECW mode? I'm pretty oh, sure I can do it. I'm actually using the ECW mode. Well, there should be have a mode where... You don't get knocked down. Yeah, I think that's called Game Genie. No, there's no such code though as that in this game, I don't think. We'll make one. We okay. have the technology. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, we don't. Sure. Well, well, it's, it society does, stuff. but us three don't. Ah! Yeah, I only can't oh. criticize about bad games. I can't actually make them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, you guys made bad games, so I can make one of you. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you guys worked very hard on it. Pro 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 program. Yeah, you worked oh, hard yeah. on the um, on the spelling <laughs> of uh, Ghostbusters. Really? Oh yeah, that Ghostbuster game. Congratulations! Yeah. You proved the culture of our justice. Yeah. Now all your base belong to us. Yeah. Whoa, it's Pizza Monster again. I have to use the uh, wing boots to get past that, that crap. Wait, Pizza Monster? Pizza yeah. the Hut! So we got what we eat, I'm trying to do. Uh, pizza with the wheat, uh, the wheat monsters. But the Pizza Monsters? <laughs> yeah, I'm we never gonna eat at Little Caesars again. <laughs> no, Pizza Dude, Patron. Dude, I love Little Caesars. Two largest oh, for 10 shoot. bucks. Whoa. Oh shoot! Oh jeez, lord. Is this the final boss? It's the final boss! Why does it sound like the ATDs or whatever they call it from Star Wars? <laughs> like, or, I got old and... and I it's ET! I thought it was Ed 209 from Robocop. <laughs> it is, it's got, it got old, I guess. I don't know, but... That's... Oh, that's it! No! As Odin... As Odin uh, now con congratulates us... There's barely any build up to that. Oh, that's a good enough boss. Big Thoughts. dude. Probably, well, I had ECW mode, so I made it look easy. Yeah, really. So, this is the guy with the sword in his. I don't know, Rectum? No, he was <laughs> that, that oh. dragon I beat for part 8. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. And now it's a beautiful day once again in the land of tree. In the land of yeah, world tree. Really. The uh, secret Minecraft, of Minecraft Martin Skype name. No. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Not much to the ending, but not bad. At least it has it. It's the ending. same as the okay. opening, except it's slightly greener. <laughs> yeah, you're it, walking it, away. Oh, you're right, we got the grass is greener on the other side of the castle. Ah, I said inside, but yeah, that works too. Uh, yeah. All right. Reminds me of uh, unembodied ending. Everything's all gray and gloomy when you beat the game. It's all beautiful and pretty, y'all. I mean, I mean, those reflection effects. You know what? Let's discuss 10 out of 10. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree. There really is a world tree. Imagine yeah, a tree that big. I think there is. They exist. Alright, so that is it for Let's Play Fezanadu for the NES. Um, yeah, so I mean, this game definitely is... It's, I think it's pretty underrated. I don't know if Happy Video Game Nerd ever reviewed it. Uh, but I don't know what he really thinks of it, but... Honestly, this game is very underrated. I first played this when I was like 11, 12 years old. I rented it from a local rental store. And uh, I was never good at it. Me and my friend played it on weekend. I never got past the first segment of the game, really. But I remember like seeing, I think seeing it in Nintendo Power Magazine or something. I forgot where I was seeing that. Like I think I had one of those Nintendo posters that would come with the games and stuff. And then I heard a lot about this game. or I don't really hear about it. I just saw the pictures of it. And I was like... Hmm, this seems like 
maybe a good fun adventure game. And so I rented it at uh, Flix, that was the name of the store, and my mom was with me and she saw me grab the box from the uh, shelf. And you know, the box cover, and I'll put it right here, just the box cover, um, it shows like, it looks like Zelda box cover, kind of, but different. Like, you know, a bland background, not really showing the, any characters or anything on the box. And so my mom was like, is that the game you're going to get? Do you even know what it's about? <laughs> Judging a video game by its box art. And I said, no, I don't, but I want to rent it anyway. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I just always sucked at it, except now because they use ECW mode. And I did a let's a long time no play of it back in 2009, I think, on the Ron Moore channel. Didn't get far there either, but I really wanted to do this on the S2K channel, and I really wanted to get through it the whole game and beat it. Um, so I cheated, and yeah, it was very fun. This is a real awesome game. The soundtrack is real sweet. Who did the soundtrack again? We got Jun Shikuma, I think is how you pronounce it. Yeah, and he did an awesome job with the soundtrack. This game has awesome music. Graphics, eh, not, not, no, it's okay. Uh, gameplay, um, gameplay's okay. Uh, he kind of looks stupid, like Star Soldier said, flying in the air is not really like, he just, I don't know, it's like floating or something. It looks kind of dumb. But as far as like the controls and the mechanics, um, I mean, eh, it's alright, but it's just a, it's a fun, underrated adventure game. Like, you really go exploring in different environments, uh, and different music, and so, yeah. I don't think it's as good as Zelda or Star Tropics, but it definitely is fun. It's worth playing at least once and maybe going back and playing again one day. So, yeah, I give this game an 8 out of 10. We got? All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, I have not played this game. I don't actually even have it. I just uh, haven't really, I guess, come across it. No, I have. Maybe it was the pricing that was getting me to get it. But either way, I have not picked it up. I should definitely next retro gaming expo i should but uh from what i saw even though if i came pretty late into the let's play it still looks pretty cool i would definitely give it a try i mean hudson soft really they make they make good quality games they did make good games and of course the soundtrack is very good check out my hey but stereo version of it if you're interested in hearing it in a in a new sort of enhanced uh better sound i guess yeah <laughs> shameless plugs plug. all the way all the way but, uh, yeah, if I were to play it, I probably would give it, like, maybe, like, a 7 out of 10. I would have to really play it to get a definite score. But the preview, I guess, score would be that for now. Yeah. Okay, and Star Soldier, I know you played this a long time ago and beat it. But I don't know how good your memory is uh, of it. Or, I guess it got refreshed after seeing this LP. But what do you say, Star? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely cool, you know, looking back on this one again, because it has been a while, but I do remember having a good time with it, and I don't know, maybe because I haven't played it in a while, is because I know I can get this game easily, <laughs> well, I already have it in my collection, of course, but, you know, bots, instructions, everything, getting it like that is actually no problem at all, I'm actually surprised Wii Guy doesn't have it, because... He has, like, ones like Cheetah Man 2 and some rare ones out there. But <laughs> this one is, like, super, super common. It was a huge hit for Nintendo, Falcom, and Hunts and Soft. Like, I think that's the main reason why there hasn't been a sequel to this game. At least not, like, a real Fat Santa Do 2, in a sense. But maybe spiritual sequels. But anyway, yeah, the main reason there wasn't a sequel is because there are so many Gumbies making it. Who made the sequel? Nintendo, Hunt and Soft, or Falcom? I don't know. <laughs> and they all probably say, okay, uh, we're Falcom and we want to make a sequel. Well, you can't do it without us. We're Hunt and Soft. Well, you can't do it without Nintendo because, you know, we're Nintendo and, uh, you know, we're the big angels. <laughs> we actually made the systems. Oh, fine. We won't make it then. <laughs> yeah. And it's a shame, too, because... It is a good action-adventure game. You know, you can build up your levels. You can see your character grow stronger over time. It's an interesting story about a you know, mystical tree, and you get so many weapons and people to talk to. It does get repetitive. Like, there are definitely better action-adventure role-playing games out there now. And the controls definitely take some getting used to, especially when you have to get used to the running and jumping mechanics. But other than that, 
you know, you got good weapons, <laughs> an interesting character to you. So there's a lot of variety in the gameplay. And, you know, like you said, the graphics and music are definitely above average. And it's a huge game, too. Like, we have to go through, like, a lot of play- playthroughs just to see it all. And, yeah, it's just a big, awesome game. And it's cheap. Get it. Get what you can. Well, the getting's good. <laughs> I keep on telling people, you don't have to get, like, the little Sansons or the Flintstones at Dinosaur Peak and drop a thousand bucks. No, just get this one for ten bucks and you're happy. You're good. <laughs> Yeah. Please play some Nintendo. It, it's honestly not as scary as people would make it out to be. <laughs> yeah. Especially with good, cheap games like this out there. And I give it a 78 out of 100. All right. Yeah, and I think this game would have been a little better if it had, you can throw some spears, like in Not Me on Elm Street. That would have been pretty easy, W. Um, and, yeah, so, yeah, this game definitely not bad, and I really enjoy this LP. All right, guys, so that is it. We are out of here. As some of you already know, my next LP on the channel will be Mega Man 5, oh. Star Soldier's favorite game. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys then. I'm Ron Moore. We guy. I'm not looking forward to Mega Man 5, but hey, um, whatever. I'm Arizona World Champ. See you all later. All right. Oh, God bless and take care. Uh, Woo. Uh, I'll be the Mega Man 5 World Champ. Uh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha